We are here to talk about the Rebel product line. Doug is here to talk a little bit about where Rebel started and where it's going and all that kind of fun stuff. So let's yes. start at the beginning. So, we, so we've done a, a tremendous amount of work to revamp the whole compact range. And for those who don't know what a compact welder is. I know this, a compact okay. welder means that the wire feeder is inside the machine. Exactly. Uh, we really focused on the, the customer and solving his problems. And one of the biggest problems uh, these guys had when they're going out in the field, they have no clue what they're gonna run into. So they have to bring either three or four machines with them to solve all their problems. So they said, look, if you're gonna, if you're gonna come and, and, and bring a new compact welder, you gotta bring one that will solve all my problems. Cause I don't know what wire or what uh, material I'm gonna need to, to weld on, the condition that it's in, the uh, type of material, the input power in my 110, in my 230, do I have a generator? I don't know any of this, so I gotta be equipped to, 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 uh, to, to do my welding jobs. And we're talking about not guys in a shop, obviously, but this is in the field. Going out in the field, field yes. Yeah. Going out in the field, yes, yeah. yeah. So yeah. That, that's, that's where this whole thing started. This is where rubber really started from. And, and so from there, we started to expand the line. And so as you can see, we have the 215, we have a 235, and we have the Rebel now 285. And we really designed it around wire optimization. And what that means is these machines are designed specifically for a certain type of wire. For instance, 215, it runs the full range of 030 wire. And what I mean by that is it can run short arc and spray transfer. But it doesn't just run 030 wire, no. it runs all the wire. It runs 023, it can run 035, I can even run 045 flux core wire. That just tells you how much power the Rebel product line will give you. But this, the 215, is specifically designed to optimally run 030. Right, In exactly. short arc and spray transfer. Yes, and so for 235, it's optimized to run uh, 035 wire, and for the 285, it's optimized to run 045 wire. Now these are the first Rebels. Yes. Compact, small. Yep. But the new version is industrial. Correct? It's industrial, yes, and it can it runs up to it's up to 40% duty cycle at its rated current uh, level, and they're, they're they're designed for in the shop and to go out in the field, which is another key uh, problem that we had to solve for users that needed to do jobs out in the field. With so this, what's with this what's the big difference between these rebels and those rebels? So really, it's, it has to do with the wire optimization. So you really, get to, you really get to choose which machine is right for your application. Well, let's go look at those let's machines. Let's go over. We're going over here. You stay here. So here, Ian, we have the bigger, batter 235 and the more, more industrial 285. Okay, so aside from just being larger, what's the difference between uh, these Rebels and the other ones? Yes, yeah, so now we're expanding the product line. Uh, users are needing to kind of understand how, what, what's the right rebel for them. So as you go up in size, naturally you can do uh, larger diameter wires. So the 235, it's uh, obviously a higher amperage machine. Yep. Fits the 33 Full range. pound, yep. big yep. spool in it. Yep. And then what, uh, what wire is this one optimized for? So that's 035 wire. And then if you want to jump up to the 285, that's optimized for the full range of 045 wire. So bigger, better brother. More industrial. Big time industrial. Big time. So multi-process, spool gun. Spool gun, TIG, uh, TIG outfit, absolutely. The full multi-process capability. And dual voltage. And dual voltage. So if I was someone and I was working in, and I knew that I only worked in a, the majority of my work was a certain thickness of plate. I'd max out a certain thickness of plate. I wouldn't necessarily have to buy the largest machine. Right. Because I, I could take the 235 and I'd be able to operate short arc spray transfer for that for 035 wire. wire. And you can even run into some, some spray transfer modes on 045 wire. But if you want to get that full optimization, that full productivity, you can then jump up to the 285 and run the full range of 045 wire. But these are still, still portable as well. So portable, yeah. We cut the weight in half. 60 pounds, this is 70 pounds. So you could curl that. I probably could. Let's see it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to use any of this, are we? <laughs>